News Nairobi Mtazamaji kila siku watoto 12 huambukizwa virusi vya HIV huku watoto wengine sita wakifariki kila siku kutokana na matatizo ya kiafya yaliyochangiwa na virusi hivyo ila sasa Kenya iko mbioni kumaliza maambukizi ya ugonjwa wa ukimwi kutoka kwa mama hadi kwa mtoto ifikapo mwaka 2027 ila changamoto bado zingalipo kama navoarifu mwanahabari Beldin Waliaula Jen ambaye si jina lake kamili alizaliwa na virusi vya HIV na sasa ana umri wa miaka 24 na ni mama ya watoto wawili. Anasema alikuwa akipata changamoto ya kumeza dawa hadi alipojikubali. Baada ya kumaliza masomo yake ya sekondari, hakuwa na uwezo wa kuendeleza elimu yake na kuamua kuoleka ila alipata ugumu wa kumweleza mumewe kwamba anaishi na virusi vya HIV hadi alipopata ujauzito. Nilienda clinic nikiwa na 8 months hapo ndo sasa ni aliitwa akaambiwa eh ilikuwa difficult kwa yeye kukubali lakini yao yasalini alinyamaza tu kama almost for one month kwa bahati nzuri mumewe hakupatikana na virusi hivyo na sasa wanaishi kama wanandoa wanaofahamika kwa kimombo kama discordant couples ambapo mumewe anameza dawa za kujikinga kutokana na maambukizi ya HIV yani PrEP huku Jen akimeza dawa za kupunguza makali ya virusi vya HIV ARVs lakini anasema kuwa mama haijawarahisi ila mahakikisha kuwa wanawe wawili wamezaliwa bila virusi vya HIV kukumeza dawa zake na pia kuwapa watoto dawa ambazo zimewakinga kutokana na maambukizi ya virusi hivyo nastahili kwenda yako na mtoto na kuna kuna venye tu naenda kuna vipimi zenye watapimo amkubwa atumi huyo ako sawa mdogo ndo anatumia sai kwa sasa humu nchini watoto 1008 ambao wako chini ya umri wa miaka 14 wanaishi na virusi vya HIV huku wale waliobalehe kati ya miaka kumi hadi 19 nane wanaishi na virusi hivyo watoto 1057 wanaoishi na virusi vya HIV humu nchini chini ya miaka 14 wanatumia dawa za kupunguza makali ya ARVs ila 74% pekee ndio wamefaulu kutokomeza virusi hivyo These are the UNAID standards for HIV epidemic control 95% of all people living with HIV should be diagnosed and the 95% of all people living with HIV should be on treatment and 95% of people living with HIV should be virally suppressed. Kenya sasa iko mbioni kumaliza maambukizi ya ukimwi miongoni mwa watoto ifikie hapo mwaka 2027. Ila kulingana na data ya mwaka jana, maambukizi ya ukimwi kutoka kwa mama hadi mtoto imefikia kiwango cha 8.6% ili hali shirika la afya duniani WHO inapendekeza kuwa asilimia hiyo iwe chini ya tano. Ila changamoto kuu ni kina mama kukosa kufikwa stalini kuangaliwa wanapokuwa wajawazito, kukosa kumeza dawa za kupunguza makali ya virusi vya HIV, na pia kukosa kutilia manane kuwapa watoto wao dawa wanapojifungua. Non disclosure to partners really drive poor ART adherence or ART discontinuation in populations of pregnant and breastfeeding women. And therefore that focused support that peer based community facility support is still really required even when our mothers are linked to ART watoto 12 huambukizwa virusi vya HIV kila siku huku watoto sita wakifariki kila siku kutokana na makali ya virusi hivyo huku malaria na pneumonia vikiwa chanzo kuu and when these mothers come we usually test them for HIV and those that we identify as HIV positive we then follow them up in the PMTCT program basically just ensuring that we walk them through the journey of 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 living positively with HIV and also with particular interest to the child that they are carrying the unborn baby or even the baby that they are breastfeeding for a period of 2 years building waliaula ketia news